Coming to you live from Southern California, the show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Colorado Rockies and the San Diego Padres. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go now on the hill and coming off a great start, you Darvish. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. And here is C.J. Krohn. And that's in there for strike one. Darvish, who's played for the Rangers, Dodgers, Cubs, and Padres, but he's been an all-star in both leagues, Singy. An all-star and a fan favorite has really become an endeared. On to Bogarts. And that's two. One hit. We go to the bottom of the first. Here's the shortstop at the play. Xander Bogarts. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And the batter now, Jake Cronenworth. Out towards left center, Daza ranging after it. Got it! Really had to move for that catch. And there's one down. Batting third. Here's Manny Machado now. Caught everyone's attention yesterday afternoon with three homers. Line drive, base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. And now it's Juan Soto. Collected three hits in the loss yesterday. Now fly ball to right center. Daza hustling. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. Runner tags it second. And he's up to third safely with two gone. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Nelson Cruz. His next home run will be the 500th of his career. Ground ball to the middle. That's a base hit. And they'll score first. It's one zip. Big RBI for him right there. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Now it's Matt Carpenter, the National League leader in runs batted in this year. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Reaching for it, makes the catch. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 1-0. You're watching Padres Baseball on the show, San Diego. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the Rockies cleanup hitter, Chris Bryant. On the ground to third, and it stays fair. No waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on the pitch like he did right there. The 0-2. Got him swinging. Pretty much textbook pitching for the three-pitch K right there. Jumped ahead 0-2 on two pitches. He didn't want to go after at the plate. Then, knowing he's going to be a little more aggressive trying to protect he expands just out of the zone where he could do anything with it. He gets the strikeout and keeps the pitches thrown to a minimum. Very nice. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Now, Sean Bouchard. First pitch, and he just misses. Chris, you Darvish debuted with the Rangers back in 2012. It's been a pretty successful big league career. He's been an all-star multiple times, and a guy with all those pitches. He gives Pitchcom a run for its money, I think you'd say. 
Two one pitches in there and the count is even. Yeah I remember when he came into the league and talking about seven eight pitches that this guy had and wow you're just scratching your head if you're a hitter what do you look for. The kick the three two and ball four to a board. Not what he wanted to do there boo that keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good chance to cut into their deficit. Elias Diaz up to bat next lays off for a ball. Next offering is fouled back. The one two. Left field. Soto gets under it. And makes the play and that's out number three. Back here at Petco Park. Now at the plate Trent Grisham. A line of the pitch. Fought off foul. The 01. In the air, left field. Bouchard drifts towards it. He's there. He's got it. One away. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Dives. What a play! This dive wasn't the result of a bad route, Singy. The only reason he made the play is because his route was so good. No doubt, Boo. Statcast tells the same story. I mean, he got to a spot as quickly as you can possibly get there, and he had to in order to have a chance at that diving play. Just special. And now it's Austin Nola. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is... Back here in San Diego. Now it's the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. Snags it on the run. And there's one away. Here's Charlie Blackman. Pitch misses. Ball one. Blackman, multi-time All-Star, 36 years old, and he was a second-round pick back in 2008. And the righty deals. And a big swing and a miss. Tovar leads off first with one away. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. One at second. And they bounce into two already. This As we go to the last of the third. And now the shortstop, Xander Bogarts. In the air, left field. Bouchard drifts towards it. Makes the catch for the out. So digging in now for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Swings through that oh, one. 0 oh, and 1. Freeland, 29 years old, a former first round pick back in 2014. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Bouchard makes the grab for the second out. Manny Machado up to the plate. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And that'll do it. And welcome back. Start of the fourth. And now it's going to be C.J. Krohn. And that one off the outside edge. C.J. Krohn can hit a ball a long way. In 2022, he had a 504-foot home run that was one foot shy of the oh, longest sorry, homer ever tracked by StatCast. Nomar Mazzara hit one 505 feet. Yeah, that home run tied John Carlos Stanton's 504 foot home run at Coors Field when he was with the Marlins in 2016. Two two now. Swing and a miss struck him out. Wow, just great fight to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Next offering is foul back. 
One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. That yeah. one's in there. That's strike one. Oh, one's the count. That's through there for a strike. Ripped on the ground a second. Fires over to first. And that is that. Back here at the ballpark, here's a big power threat. Juan Soto. The pitch. Right side. On the run, sends it over to first. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Oh, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Ripped on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. So now here's the DH. Matt Carpenter. Swing and a miss. Oh, and it's 0-1. Well, you got to be careful with this guy. Two outs, nobody on. He's looking to drive the ball really far. So if you can't get him to chase your pit. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And out of here. Matt Carpenter leaves the yard. His 80th home run of the season. It's 2-0. It's pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. He's over one. Next pitch has popped up. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. But the Padres add to the lead on a solo homer. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. That's in there. 0-1. All these Rockies, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. And a 1-2. On the ground to third. Machado throws to first in time. One up, one down. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what it was supposed to do. Bouchard batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Hit in the air, right field. And there's two down. And now it's Elias Diaz. Back to right. High bounce over the fence for an automatic double. Stepping in, Ezekiel Tovar. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. And ball one. Diaz on its second with two down. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Back here at Petco Park. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the second baseman, Hassan Kim. First offering misses the mark. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Daza has it sized up. He's got it. One down. Now the catcher up to hit, Austin Nola. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Home man for the fifth inning, moving along. Two quick outs. It's Xander Bogarts now. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. Well struck left field. This one's got a chance. And that one is out of here. 
An absolute blast to left. His 43rd home run of the season, and they add a run. It's 3-0. Zingy, that's his 199th career home run. Well, 200 homers is an exciting number for anyone to get to. He's got to be looking forward to that next one a lot. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient and waited for it. It was like BP all over again. And the batter now, Jake Cronenworth. Here's a rip to short. But he's there for the third out. The Padres get one in the inning with a solo blast. It's now 3-0. And welcome back. And now the center fielder, Yonathan Daza. That's hard hit in the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Blackman, the batter oh, now, as down. he swings and misses for strike one. Out of line, out towards center. And makes the grab. Two down. Two out, space is empty. C.J. Krohn now at the plate. That's First the offering, and it just misses. Krohn, an all-star a season ago. A member of the 1,000 hit club, on, and he's driven in eight runs over his last 10 games. And it is two and one. This one popped up. Bogarts makes the grab, and that's the inning. Well, we go bottom six, stepping in for San Diego, Manny Machado. It's off his shoulder, eats him up. Now he turns and heads for second. Well, he thought about two, but he's back to first safely. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. So, man aboard. Now the youngster wants Soto. Pitch misses ball, inside, it. and that is ball one. Soto, 24 years old, and he's a former home run derby champ. Now this one's crushed down the line. Fucking foul ball. I'm really impressed with this offense. They haven't been timid at the plate at all. They've been aggressive, and they're keeping the defense on its toes. Five hits for them on the first pitch alone, so they're swinging. Steps on the bag for one. On to Chrome. It's a double play. Very composed play from the shortstop position right there. And that was a perfect decision. Go ahead and take it yourself. Get to second and then fire to first. Make sure you get those two outs. Now a screamer into the outfield. Blackman makes the grab. Back here in San Diego, we go to the top of the seventh. Here's Chris Bryant now. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Here comes the 0-1. And yeah, there's the strike. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Fastball for a strike. It's 0-1. Oh, this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you can find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And there are two outs. <laughs> now the left fielder, Sean Bouchard. There's a strike. Well, this looks like it's going to be a wasted oh opportunity. Yeah. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff man on, but you can't get him into scoring position. They're going to need a big knock. Try to put something up on the board. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. 
two on now with two away. Next to hit for the Rockies, Elias Diaz. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Got him swinging for the K. Slider got him for a strike. New pitcher on here, Jose Ureña. Well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. Stirring in the Colorado bullpen, Denelson Lamette getting loose out there. Suter getting loose as well. Pitch misses outside. One ball, one strike. Tap back to the mound. Slings the first. And a quick out number one. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. He doesn't have a play and they don't get an out on the play. And he swings and misses and it's nothing at one. Grisham, the base runner at first with one out. Rips one to right. Calls it in, two away. Austin Nola, the next up for the Padres. Up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on to first and he beats it everyone's safe so the san diego batting order turns over now here is xander bogarts one home run shy of 200 for his career here's a high fly ball out to center makes the grab and that is that padres lead Back here at the ballpark, we're at the top of the eighth. So in now for Colorado, Ezekiel Tovar. Now this is in the air down the line. Soto makes the grab, one away. Jonathan Daza steps to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Swings through that one for strike two. Got him looking. Now two out. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Two outs, runner at first. C.J. Crone digging in for the Rockies. And that's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. Swing a foul straight back. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Bogarts sizing this one up. Makes a nice running catch. Welcome back at the play. Jake Cronenworth. Urania back to work. And there's a ball. Bounced up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He doesn't have a throw, and they come away without an out. And now it's Manny Machado. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. And fouled off. Righty to the plate. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And that one hops the wall. Here comes Cronenworth around third. Throw is offline and he scores. And they're up by four. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. So, man aboard. Juan Soto now. 
And a little something extra at stake in this at bat as he's hitless so far with his hitting streak in jeopardy. No outs. Runner on second. Line drive. Fair ball. Here comes Machado around third. He will score. And the lead is up to five. Fires the second too late into second with a double. And that was hard hit. New pitcher coming on, the veteran, Brent Suter. He last pitched two days ago. Nelson Cruz, the next up for the Padres. And first offering is fouled off. This one lifted in the air, left field. Bouchard settles underneath it and puts the squeeze on that. And there's one away. And next is the designated hitter, Matt Carpenter. And there's a foul ball. And he hits a ground ball right side. It's through for a hit. Coming around third is Soto. Now a long throw home. The run comes in from second, and it's now a six-run lead. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you enough. Here's the center fielder, Trent Grisham. Lifted in the air down the left side. Bouchard pulls it down, and there's two gone. Man at first. Here's the second baseman, Ha Sung Kim. On the ground to the left. Stops it on a slide, and that's a great play for the out. All set to start the ninth in this one. Leading off, Ryan McMahon. That one's in there. Strike one. Fouled off. He was late. 0 oh, 2 now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Well, I think he's got to be feeling pretty invincible out there on the mound right now. I mean, he's got the shutout working so far. And. Even when he challenges these guys, he's getting away with it. That pitch right there really wasn't anything special. A hittable pitch, but he gets the punch out. Bouchard stands in now and watches strike one. Here's the 0-2. Right down on strikes, and that'll do it. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. 6 nothing is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.